there and welcome to my video my name is Andrea and today I have a Ariana Grande style evolution in this video I'll be going over 10 years worth of Ariana Grande iconic outfits so I hope you enjoy so we're gonna start in 2010 when Ariana Grande landed her role as Kat Valentine in Victorious Kat is the very quirky character who expresses herself with her bright and fun colorful outfits. She also had very bold makeup and of course the iconic red hair. In 2011, Victorious got a reboot for season two and Ariana Grande was able to get a single called Put Your Hearts Up. Her style became a lot more girly. She wore a lot more skirts, more floral prints. She put her hair up in ponytails. In 2012 is when we really get to see Ariana become more feminine in her looks. She starts to wear more two-piece sets. She begins to wear her hair half up, half down, which leads her style to become very influential in the early 2010s. 2013 is the year that Ariana Grande releases her debut album, Yours Truly. This outfit is directly inspired by the outfit worn in the Baby Eye music video. I have my hair half up, half down, a feminine sunflower dress cinched at the waist, and black glittery high heels. In 2014, my everything was released. Here, I chose to recreate the outfit she wore in her problem music video. Ariana began to wear her hair up in high ponytails to help with the damages of overcoloring her hair. And she also used cat ears to accessorize the look. 2015 was a very busy year for Ariana. She had her honeymoon tour, she was working on the set of Scream Queens, and she was releasing her first fragrance. She dropped a single called Focus and I decided to recreate this look. I love it. I love how glittery it is. And I feel like it was just a way of her telling the world to focus on Ariana. In 2016, the Dangerous Woman album was released. And we see Ariana take a much more mature approach when it comes to what she wears and what she sings about. On the cover of her Dangerous Woman album, she wears an all-black ensemble with a kinky appeal to it. By 2017, Ariana Grande had specific pieces that defined her style. This included oversized sweatshirts, over-the-knee high boots, and the classic high ponytail. I think it's important to point out that during this year is when the Manchester attack occurred so I think she was looking for some comfort in her personal style. As a way to cope with the tragedy, she released Sweetener in 2018. Ariana describes Sweetener as having a more dreamier sound compared to her previous albums and it won her her first Grammy for Best Pop Vocal Album. Here, I recreated a look from the No Tears Left to Cry music video. It's a light and pastel look to reflect the concept of the album. At the end of 2018, Ariana began working on her next album, Thank You Next. Before the year ended, she did release the first music video for the album and the song stayed number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for seven consecutive weeks. In the music video, Ariana recreated multiple looks from her favorite movies. The full album was released in 2019. I just have to say that this look is my favorite out of all of them. In Thank You Next, we get to see a grieving side of Ariana that's trying to heal from her past loves. But in Seven Rings, we definitely get to see how she knows she's a total baddie. In 2020, Ariana Grande releases her playful album, Positions. On the album cover and in some of her music videos, she obviously has a very 60s inspired aesthetic. But this 60s style is also modernized with trends from today, which includes very graphic eye makeup and more revealing outfits. For the last look of this video, I recreated Ariana Grande's wedding day look. Her dress was created by Vera Wang. Her hair is in the more sleek half up, half down style. And she has pearl accessories to match her pearl engagement ring. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and comment down which look you like the best.